Yeah, just hearing that that cannon fire off and ran out there in the smoke and just seeing, you know, I think it was 40 or 50,000 fans in our first game just just cheering for us was super super cool. I think in the Battle of the Bridges there was what four or five thousand people here, right. and which, I, which felt huge. Yeah, it, in the moment there was a ton of people here, but um, and then in the pit game, the pit game was unreal. Singing Country Roads after that with 62,000 yeah. fans there, that was truly the best experience I could ever ever uh, have on a football field. Okay, so when you think back here to your two years starting quarterback at Eastmont. Mm -hmm. What's the number one thing that comes to mind? That touchdown pass to Wesley on fourth down in the Battle of the Bridges my senior year, man. That uh, I tell this story all the time. I had no idea it was fourth down. I didn't know what yard line we were on. Um, <laughs> we called a timeout right before because I was confused on the play call. Mm -hmm. Me and Coach Don are out there screaming at each other in the middle of the field. Um, so how it all happened was just hilarious, and I love telling that story. But uh, – yeah, I had no idea. I just knew Wesley was down there, and it just happened how it did. Okay, just because of that, we're going to play that right now here on the NCW Life Channel. Four years ago, it was an Eastmont five-point win. Three years ago, an East Point three-point loss. Two years ago, a two-point win in overtime. Last year, a one-point win. <laughs> Can Eastmont pull it off here again? Fourth down coming up. Five and nine. Low snap. Everhart throws it. down, looking for the end zone, looking for Michael Williams. to turn the ball over on downs, and that will do it as Carson Everhart raises a hand into the air aloft, goes over to the red zone with five, with four, with three, with two, with one, and there will be another day in the existence of the 2019 season for the Eastmont Wildcats.